There are some features in DaVinci Resolve that are so simple, yet amazing, I wish Apple would flat out steal them and put them in Final Cut Pro. Like this first one, we all know that you can take an audio effect and then drop it right onto a clip. Standard stuff, do it all the time. But having the ability to take that same audio effect and not only being able to take it and put it onto the entire track, that that now affects the entire track without having to put it individually on all the audio clips. So everything on this track now has that effect on it. And to access it, you can click right on the track right here, which brings up the effects and just click on effect. Or if you don't see it, you can just click on this toggle switch right there, which is the track switch. Click on that and then you have your effect. So anything I do to this effect will affect everything that's on that track without having to go and individually copy and paste it to everything. And I wish that Final Cut would be able to do role-based audio effects editing in a similar way. DaVinci is doing it in such a simple way and it's fantastic and I use this all the time. The next thing is having a quick visual representation that's a simple transformation or something has been done to a clip. Now, it's very easy to change a clip color that is not what I'm talking about here. So it's not doing that. It's more about going and changing some of the transform or the scaling or the angle or anything, any kind of transform, automatically the clip gets some indication that something has been changed to it. So I know that a lot of these clips haven't been changed. These, this is a multicam clip, so that's also a good thing. But this clip, because I did some transforms to it, and if I remove that transform, if you look at the clip, that visual indication goes away. So having a visual representation that something has been changed in a clip, and I can just scan the timeline and see that at any point. In Final Cut Pro, it also has the meters where you can see the audio level for the entire project. I'd love for Final Cut to be able to just steal the mixers. So for every track or roles in Final Cut Pro, being able to adjust the volume of the entire track without having to go individually or without having to make a compound clip so you can do this being able to do it all in the main timeline. And each track would have its own EQ or compressor or access to effects. Another thing that I wish Final Cut Pro that DaVinci does so well is just to favorite effects. And just by clicking that little star, it adds it to your favorites. So any effect that you use over and over again, you can just click that star and then it's in your favorites folder without having to go search for it every single time. Another thing that a lot of editors have been clamoring for in Final Cut Pro is something that DaVinci Resolve does really well, and that is to display stacked timelines. Going over to this icon over here on the timeline on the left side, clicking that brings up display stacked timelines, and it does exactly what you think it does. It allows you to have multiple timelines open, and then just go over here, click on the add timeline, and then if you have any other timelines in your project, They'll show up there and you can just open them up and you can also add more stacked timelines on top of that. So you can have numerous timelines all open and ready and at your fingertips anytime you need them. It works very similar to how it is in Premiere Pro, but this is something that I wish was in Final Cut Pro. So if you're working on a B-roll section or multiple shows, you can have all your timelines open. Or if you're bringing a lot of content from an old timeline onto a new one and or you're just working on different variations or you want to try something you want to try something very quickly to see how it works. Stack Timelines is fantastic. And I wish Final Cut Pro would just steal it and put it in there. And if you have dual screens, you can turn on dual screen and then just make your full screen timeline. You have your one screen, all your timelines, and your second screen will be your viewer and everything else. And to close them out, just hit the X for the stacked timelines and close them out. And any other ones, you can just turn that off. Yet another thing I would love for Final Cut to just steal from DaVinci Resolve is power bins. This is a set of bins that are available across all your projects. So if you create any folders or media in these power bins, so like video, sound effects, music, or graphics, or any other bin, and anything you put in these will be available in every single project. So if you use a lot of elements that are in all your projects, this is a great place to put it. And if you're working on something and you just wanna add it to it, you can just grab it from the timeline and put it directly into those power bins and it'll show up in all your projects. Even if you have adjustment layers with effects on them, you can drag these in too. So if you use a lot of elements like that, this is a great way to save all your effects and your adjustment layers with effects on them without having to rebuild them every single time. 
So those are the five simple things that I wish Final Cut Pro would just steal and implement in their application. And if you are a Final Cut Pro user and you're thinking of switching to DaVinci Resolve, make sure you check out this video where I talk about the pros and cons of switching from Final Cut Pro to DaVinci Resolve. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.